From Cloyne in County Cork, now living in Clontarf, James Northridge has worked in IT for the last five years, but recently embarked on a Masters in Disability Studies, a subject very close to his heart. Hello Dragons, my name is James Northridge. I have worked as an education technologist in University College Dublin for the past five years. I have a degree in Business Information Systems and I'm currently completing a Masters in Rehabilitation and Disability Studies. As a young child, I had countless sleepless nights. There are hundreds of thousands of adults and children in Ireland and millions across the world who have faced a similar challenge to me. That challenge that we share is dyslexia. My company is yourability.com and my vision for your ability is to empower students that have faced similar learning challenges by using assistive technology. Your ability has been running for eight months on a part-time basis. We've had a turnover of 17,000. We've ran two assistive technology summer camps, several Saturday training sessions. We sell assistive technology online, and we also carry out assistive technology training for teachers in schools. I'm looking for 25,000 euros for a 20% equity stake. With the help and mentoring of a dragon, your ability can supply assistive technology training online, globally, allowing students to embrace their full potential. With his own personal experience of dyslexia, James is bound to be a passionate promoter of his learning aids. But Ramona wants to make sure she's clear about how the system works. Hi, James. I'm Ramona. Hi, Ramona. Hi, Ramona. I'm just going to give you what my version of how I think this works, OK? You have the accessibility of a number of different packages that you can sell, or maybe schools already do have, Correct. and then you train the people, students yeah. or the teachers, to use the packages. Is that correct? That's correct. And is that, is that how you generate your revenue? Yeah, that's what we've done to date. So in the last eight months, we've ran uh, two assistive technology summer camps. So what we do is we go through assistive technology pieces um, and we ensure that the students know how to use them. OK, so how you've generated 17K over mm -hmm. eight months. That's, yeah. that's quite good. Tell me how you did that. So in terms of Saturday sessions and summer camps, we took in 12,000 euros. Uh, we've had 3,000 euros worth of online sales to date. We also do assistive technology assessments with students. So that has taken in around two grand in the last few months. So James, I'm Barry. Hi Barry. Uh, you mentioned sleepless nights when you were younger. What, 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 yeah, why weren't I you mean, sleeping? I suppose just to kind of give you a bit of background uh, and in terms of my own experience with dyslexia, like uh, as, a, as a child, and uh, I would have struggled big time in terms of my spelling. Uh, my reading. I probably went through a period of being told I was slow, uh, you know, lazy, stupid, you know, you throw it out there and it's happened. When I first went to college, assistive technology wasn't available. Um, and unfortunately, I ended up dropping out of that course. Um, but luckily, I got a second chance. I went back to UCC in Cork and I did business information systems. Um, and assistive technology was available at the time. And it, it certainly made the difference to me. James's attitude is certainly impressive, and his product seems praiseworthy. But for the Dragons to invest, there does need to be the opportunity for profit. Could you describe what success looks like in your business in three years' time? I'd like to see your ability as being the key area, or the key, I suppose, hub that anyone that has a specific learning difficulty can go to. I mean, the, in terms of frustrated parents, students that might be struggling in college or school, that this is the place they can go to. Um, Within three years, I would like to have 5,000 members using your ability on an ongoing basis. You see, James, I just wonder, is this a high-touch business proposition rather than just a high-tech proposition? I wonder, should you be going through a type of franchise licensing? Because there's a lot of um, teachers around the country, they're looking for something to do during the summer. Mm. They could run the summer camps mm. for you. Do you not think that you have to grow that way, plus have the technology mm. platform? Maybe that is, that is something I need to look at. I, I think in terms of the Irish market, it's definitely something that I, I can scale. However, I think in terms of the UK, that's really where a franchise model in terms of the summer camps could definitely work. James, uh, can you give us some revenue projections for the next two yeah, years, three years? You know, just... Yeah, so for, so for year one, we're looking at projections of turnover of 110,000 with a net profit of 15,000. And in year two, 312,000 with a net profit of 110,000 and in year three, 
a turnover of 520 with a net profit of 200,000. James, I'm sorry, and you must think I'm harping on about this, but um, 17,000 turnover uh, and 80% of it from face-to-face -face training. Does that not say something? Well, what it, what it has done and what it was for me was really to test the market and see if the way I deliver the content and the type of training actually works. So now I can take that model and I can bring it online. Have you personally delivered all those training courses or has there been somebody else doing it without you being in the room? Uh, personally, I have been on site for those training sessions, um, but I have three people that have worked with me on all those sessions as well. So they would be just as, as, uh, as equipped. How, how come you haven't let them do it on their own then? Having my presence there, me dealing with the parents, it's quite important. I'm the person that they would meet. If, you're, if everything is single threaded through mm. you, then it's not scalable. Well, with this investment, it will allow me to step back a little bit and to train somebody up and to ensure they can deliver the training to the same specification as I can. The ability to delegate responsibility will be important for James if his business is to expand. The question is, do the Dragons see that as a realistic possibility? James, um, I think you've developed something really special here. It all makes sense. The scalability factor is a, is a, is a major issue. I think that um, you will go on to be very successful, but on this occasion, I'm out. Thank you very much. James, I really genuinely think you've um, the incorrect business model. There is a huge business here, but you've pitched the wrong business to me. That, that, you, look, that's my view. You, you, you could be right, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's definitely two tracks. So certainly, I want to still deliver those sessions online. Yeah, yeah, but, but your track is to research for going online. I want you to use online to get you out there and to get yeah. your pe people out there. So at this stage, I'm, I'm seeing it as, as, as the wrong model. So I'm out. Thank you very much. James, yeah, I'm, I think you're a very credible individual, but I'm just struggling with the model. I, I'm not sure it's just quite right. Okay. Um, but uh, I wish you the very best of luck with it and I, and I hope it works, but uh, I'm out. Thank you very much. So once again, the problem of scalability is proving to be a hurdle for a young entrepreneur. Can either Peter or Barry see a profit in your ability? I invested in a, a camp last year and it was very successful, but there was a differentiator there. Mm. I don't see it in, with your ability, and for that reason, I might. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, this is fantastic for me because I think all the other dragons have missed a huge opportunity. I mean, some people don't get the online thing, but the whole change here is technology driven. Mm. And I think the trick will be to tap into your experience, but also the experience of some of the best people around the world who are working in this area. Uh, so I would like to make you an offer uh, for the full amount, which is 25,000 euros for 25% of the business. Thank you very much. Would you like some time to think about it? I don't think I need any time at all to think about it. I'd love to take your offer. Fantastic. And so, in what is a very rare event in the den, a dragon makes a second investment in one day. Barry O'Sullivan is a firm believer in the importance of education, and now he's making it his business. He can do a partnership you know, with the after-school grind schools. What wouldn't you do for your kids, right? So I think he can really scale out the impact immediately, not just at the weekends or in the summer, but during the week after school as well. <laughs> Well done, James. Congratulations. You got an investor and Barry said he felt the other dragons have really missed out on something today. Yeah, I mean, certainly I was a little bit nervous coming in there. Uh, I knew I, I prepared well. I knew the business was strong, um, but Barry certainly was, was the one I was going for. So it was a good result in the end. Quite unusually, you had two dragons with totally different takes on this. Gavin said the future is face to face training. Mm -hmm. Barry said, no, 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 the future is online. What do you think now? Well, I, I, obviously I agree with Barry, of course. Um, but no, so, somewhere in between is where it's at. It's a, still about that face-to-face -face training. Um, but undoubtedly, I'd like to bring that online so that we can reach a far larger target market. Well, well done, James. I think those uh, sleepless nights you referred to will be a thing of the past. Congratulations. Thank you very much.